Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number three of our Transport Fever Norfolk Central Railroad Let's Play. We're on a free game USA map at medium difficulty. The year is 1867. When we left off, I was setting up routes to get some industry into Norfolk. Get them some goods. Uh, actually, I think goods was my intention, but I accidentally set it up to bring in uh, robot pieces and tools. So that's what we're going to get. Unfortunately, we won't have the goods that I was hoping for, but that's all right. Robots and tools are just as good for the city. So what did I do between episodes? I actually did quite a bit. I did have to take out a $500,000 loan. So unfortunately, we're almost broke, which does worry me a little bit. I know we were making a profit. So we basically broke even last year, even though we spent 300000 So I guess we made about 300000 last year. We spent a lot of money this year, and we're only in March. Yikes. Um, anyway, so we've only got half a million left, and we're going to burn through... Well, we've got a million left, really, if you include the money that we have on hand. So I'm going to burn through about a half a million, just buying some trucks for this to get started. Uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look at what we did. So the whole idea is to get these goods into Norfolk. Excuse me, I don't know what's going on today. But we have a, a fairly complicated uh, production chain. So uh, we start with the uh, we start with lumber over here. Like I said, that uh, little icon doesn't get any bigger no matter how zoomed in you are. So we start with lumber over here. I guess we could uh, highlight the lines as well. I've set up the new lines for these two. So we start with lumber over here, and it goes to this lumber mill. Then it comes from the lumber mill and takes the wooden planks and drops them off at the factory, and then it goes back. And I almost think that I should, it seems like it's so wasteful if it doesn't carry the wooden planks back. But unfortunately, your production chains, like it ta they take a big hit in efficiency if you try it to run it the most efficient way possible. It's frustrating, because I'd have to get a whole line going here back and forth. Uh, yeah, you know, I should probably just do that before we even get into it. So I need to take off the Clarksville West line. So we're going to remove that. That's a real shame. And so we're going to set up a new line going from here to here. It'd be nice if it would go on that road, which is going to be a little less busy. It keeps wanting to make all of my lines gray, and I would rather they not be gray. Can I add a waypoint in there? I guess I can't. I know there's some way to to do waypoints. I can't just like click on the ground or something. No. Well, that's too bad. Um, I will try to figure that out at some other time. Uh, oh yeah, so this is a road intermediary for Clarksville. Uh, if you would like to see what these little codes mean, those are in the in the um, comments on this video. So I have the key for all the codes. I don't have the key for the city city names though. Um, I'm not sure. Can I change? Whoops. Can I change the city names? I can, so maybe I'll add the key in between episodes, or like every time I start using a new city, I'll add the key in there, but either way, I'll get that straightened out a little later on, so that makes more sense. I don't know if it will rename all of these factories and stuff. Uh, I guess we're going to find out as time goes on. But I, I really would like this one to use this road instead of that other road. Maybe if I... Uh, lay a little connector road down here. Whoops, I don't want a street, I want a country road. I connect it like that. Maybe it will think that's a little shorter. I doubt it will. Ah, perfect, exactly what I wanted. Um, one thing I found out is you don't want to have like more than two lines using these, your uh, stations. Uh, so, you know, I, I may as well have used the small station but the large one's just not that much more expensive, and maybe eventually it'll come in handy. But at this point, if you have three going in there, it gets way too crowded, and you get a big bottleneck. So I find that having the incoming goods going to one station, which is this one, and then the outgoing goods coming from another station, which is this one, uh, seems to be a lot more efficient. Uh, and you also don't want to have any of your vehicles doing more than more than one leg, unfortunately. All right, so we have the lumber coming in and getting turned. I guess I could have this going at slow speed here. It's not going to hurt anything. Getting turned into planks here. And then we have planks going from there to the factory. 
over on this side, we need to have steel. So we have coal going to the coal factory or the steel factory down here. We have iron going to the steel factory down here. And then we have um, uh, steel going to the uh, goods factory. And then over here we have uh, goods going to the town. And that is the end of the production chain. Now, <laughs> excuse me again. Uh, the production chains are counterintuitive in this game. Uh, I think I went through that before. But it draws, like in most games, you start by bringing the raw resources to the intermediary, then the intermediary to the finished goods, then the finished goods to the town. But in this game, you really need to be drawing from the finished goods to the town first, and then that will cause the draw from the intermediaries to the finished goods, and that will cause the draw from the raw resources to the intermediary. And it's really complicated because you have to keep a constant flow going, and so we may run into having a few really good years where things are running strong, and then suddenly this stops producing for some reason, which then causes these to stop producing, and uh, in, in the other game that I'm playing that I'm not recording, I kind of discovered that it was the these these triangle loops I'm trying to run. Once I stopped doing that, it, it really cleared things up. So uh, at this point, I want to, I'm sure you noticed on this uh, line here, this this pink one, um, I guess I forgot to I forgot to name. Oh, because you got to hit enter on it, don't you? So this is... Uh, Road intermediary, and it's going to Clarksville. Enter, thank you very much. So on this raw resource line up here, this pink one, you can see that it's taken this ridiculously long route to get to the factory. Well, that's because I didn't build a connector road yet. So when I set up these road lines, I build connector roads basically to make as many straight lines as possible between each leg of the route. And so we're gonna do that here as well. And uh, usually what you want to do is you want to make sure you turn on the contours so you can see where the land goes. And then I usually like to get down to like the land level as well and kind of kind of look at the land and see. And you can kind of see that if we go around that little rise there and so we can kind of make a little S through there and it'll uh, it'll come out pretty good. There's a yeah, so we should be able to like maybe crest the hill right here. Yeah, this is not a bad idea. Just start by building this curve and then connect to the curve. Yeah, so then that's... Whoops. It's usually better to start at the intersection anyways. So we saved 12000 by doing that in two chunks because it wanted 29 and we paid... I guess we paid about nineteen, so we saved about 10000 But either way, we saved money. And so if we'd want to do this in one chunk, it's sixty grand. Wow, we're already broke? That's not good. I haven't even bought any uh, vehicles yet. So what did that cost? About uh, $22,000 instead of $60,000? So it's definitely worth it to do your roads in small chunks. And now if we look at the line, you can see it's uh, it's much shorter by going, going down that path. Um, and so I did that on... Um, I made a road going from the town back to here, which turned out to be unnecessary because I was having that do a triangle. Hmm. I think maybe I wanted to do that one to do all four legs of the route and then go back to the coal. Uh, but obviously, we aren't doing that now. Um, I built uh, I built one of like this. I believe is the bypass road that I built, but maybe this is the one that I built. But either way, I built one of these two lines to make. Uh, make it a shorter path. It, it probably was this one because that is the shorter path. That's actually a longer path up there. Um, oh yeah, this this whole this. I guess this is what we were building during the last episode because that's where I got distracted. Is right there. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I connected these ones up by changing the roads as well. Like this definitely looks like one of my roads as opposed to one of the game's default roads. <laughs> Excuse me. Their roads are a little more, uh, a little more curving and winding. Um, great. So let's. Uh, oh, good. We're back up to five hundred thousand. That's good news. Let's start 
building vehicles. So we need to get vehicles on all those different lines that we have. So uh, that's the finished goods. I guess we may as well start there. And I guess that would be the... So we're just going to buy a couple of vehicles for each one at the start here. First off, because I just don't have that much money. But uh, these are going to run at a loss for a little while. Uh, and that's just uh, unfortunately how it works out. So we're going to set that line to the Norfolk finished goods line. Next up is the intermediary for our factory. And that looks like the, uh, I guess we could close that down. Ah, that's the one going with the lumber. So let's start that one from this building. We're going to buy three horse wagons. And we're going to assign those to the OICLK. There we go. Next up is this line. Where are you at? There you are. Nice short line down there. Just gonna throw a couple of a uh, couple of vehicles on this one. That's this. Yep, the pastel purple one. Next after that is this orange one right there. And the you are just a going back and forth. I really could use a. Uh, station down here. I don't really like to spend the money on it, but also don't want to have you going the uh, starting back at the town, not not really doing any good from back there. So we're going to buy one, two, three, and we're going to set you to the orange line. Great. Now we have the uh, this line here. Right, which will take the oh, it takes that's what this line does. So, we want to start up here, brings in the iron one, two, three, set that line to there. And uh, I think now we have the steel line, and that should be it. Right, great. Hmm, no, nope, that's the coal line. Did I not set up the steel line? I must have forgotten that one. Three wagons here. One. Oh, out of money already. Well, that's it for loans. Better start making money. Might be a short series. No, seriously, it might be a short series. Uh, I don't know how this game is going. Uh, trying to be modest here, uh, but we did go pretty deep into debt in the last episode. Maybe I should have, uh, I thought I was playing pretty conservatively, but maybe I should have been even more conservative. Did I not set that line? There we go. And I don't think I have a line set to take the steel in, which would be important. If I ever want to have this line operating properly. Now, what did I just set you guys on? Do I have a different purple line? Wow. Got it. No, this is, it should be on ORCLK. Why is that not showing up on here? Oh, because you have to scroll down. Interesting. This is making for riveting, uh, riveting viewing. I tell you, this is the most exciting game we're going to run into on this network. Network. It's very, uh, very presumptuous of me. Hey, where are you going? I just changed your directions. Not that they're going to have any coal there for me for a while. And uh, I need to set up a line that goes from uh, 
It's too bad it, I can't get it to where it only shows me. There we go. Perfect. So Norfolk transfer to Huntsville North. Huntsville North. Norfolk transfer. And the other one, this one should be the steel one. Huntsville North, Clarksville West. Yeah, Huntsville North, Clarksville West. Great. Okay, I do have steel coming in there. All right, so that's all of the pieces of the um, finished goods puzzle there. So now we just need to let that run for a while. How are our passengers looking? Um, looks like we're doing all right down here. So I am going to, well, let's look at our uh, let's look at our vehicles and see if there's going to be any replacements coming up, uh, you know, real soon. Got 10, 12 years on some of these. I think they last 15 years. Um, I guess we can find out by going to a depot and looking at 15 years. And I'm sure it's 15 years. Yeah, 15 years. All right. So we are going to have to start replacing a bunch of road vehicles here before too long. These guys are not making any money. These are my... Uh, why am I not making money on food? I think it's because I have the same problem going on with those. I think I have them running three legs on their routes when they should be just running uh, one leg each. What are you guys doing? Oh, they're all empty. That's why. It's because I was like, how do I have so many lumber cars? That doesn't make any sense. All right, so the age thing, I'm going to have to replace, what, 15 uh, vehicles here before too long? That's not that's not uh, worrying me, really. So let's go ahead and set up a counterclockwise, uh, or clockwise, I don't know which. Now it looks like we'll be setting up counterclockwise. Anyways, let's set up an alternate bus route here. And uh, all that's going to be is just putting bus stops across the street from the existing bus stops. There we go. And then uh, running a second route going the other direction. That really increases your traffic. And um, I mean, I guess it requires more infrastructure, of course. I just had to build those four stations. Uh, but it's like it fits right in. It's a natural fit. Uh, so we're going to have to set up a new line for that as well, but we can do that from within here. So let's buy one, two, three, four vehicles, and we're going to close some of these windows that are in the way, and we're going to set line, new line, and I don't want another stupid gray line. It's going to keep trying to get me to go with these gray lines. That one I won't be able to see either. This light orange, I should be able to see that. All right, and we're going to add stations. So we're going to go counterclockwise. There we go. And uh, this is Clarksville. It's frustrating that it doesn't show the city name. Uh, you know, okay, so this is Huntsville. Oh, well, that's not, that's not how it works. We have a road, passengers, Huntsville. There we go. And hit enter. Yep, great. All right. So now we have two lines going in circles around each other. Going to do that down here in Springfield as well? I'd say yes. We've got passengers waiting at all stations, so we may as well double them up. That will only increase the number of passengers. The more... Well, I shouldn't... It only goes for so far, but... In general, the more resources you draw, the more it will provide. But uh, it does reach a breaking point. And figuring out where that breaking point is is kind of the challenge. So I just, uh, it's, you really got to be patient to play this game because uh, it takes a lot of, um, a lot of experimentation and kind of slowly adding a little bit here and a little bit there to try to make things work out the way that you want them to. Right, uh, so I was trying to do that new line there, and for some reason I didn't quite do it right. Let's look at it through this window then, please. 
Great, we're gonna do that. Let's bring that window back up. All right, so probably don't wanna have two, two red hued lines running opposite each other. We're gonna go there and then there. Great, so we're going the right direction and there and there. And uh, that's gonna be good. Right, so there we go. Two two towns with. Uh, see if we can drive the line manager crazy, moving around like this. Uh, so let's let's double up Norfolk here. What's going on in Norfolk? We're gonna go road and visible only. Yeah, that doesn't help. So I guess we're just not gonna not gonna have that on. There's too much going on in Norfolk. Oh yeah, I am also gonna turn off the bus uh, icon for now because that will improve performance. Uh, yeah, you may have noticed. I don't know if you did or not. Uh, I did dial down the graphics a little bit. Um, it was proving or it's not proving to be anything, but uh, I suspect that that's going to be a necessary. I think that's going to be necessary before too long here. Um, so let's take a look at those lines again. So nobody is stopping at this bus station. Why did I bother to build it? I think that was probably a relic from uh, the original. Ah, that was an unfortunate misclick. Uh, I think that was a relic from the original um, game. Right, so uh, line one here, I forgot to give it its name, I guess. Sp Springfield. It's going to be SPR, isn't it? So we got uh, OP, SPR. Let's get back to Norfolk. Yeah, thank you. There we are. And uh, it looks like our buses are going uh, counterclockwise right now. So we're going to set up a clockwise route. So we're going to go line. And we're going to do new line. New line, I say. We've got green, so let's do a red one. And we are going to call that road passenger Norfolk. And uh, we're going to add stations, and we're going to start with this one. And we're going to go that way. That's right. So we're going to go to there next, and then to there, and then to there. I don't like having two red lines going through there, so let's change that one to purple, I guess. There we go. Looks good. Let's get four vehicles on this one. Let's do five, why not? Why not put too many vehicles on there? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, sorry, wrong catchphrase. Um, there we go, we're gonna go with that one. I was only just talking about how I don't wanna put too many vehicles on these lines, so why not put a bunch of extra vehicles on these lines? All right. Gonna repay a loan here just to try to save money where I can, because we are gonna have to just uh, lose a bunch of money. I mean, uh, just sit and wait a while while we try to make money for a while here. But these new bus lines, you know, bus provide a very steady passive income. So I want to expand that. Um, I also wouldn't mind expanding the train. Uh, train capacity between these towns as well, and that would require more more bus lines to make that work. So that's another reason I'm kind of working on these. Uh, we're gonna do new line, and uh, I know you really like brown, uh, but we are gonna go red on this one, I'd say. And you're gonna be a road passenger line for Clarksville, which should be CLK. CLK, great. Enter, and we're gonna add stations. And it looks like you're going that way, so we're gonna go the other direction. And let's try add station again. There, there, number three. And finally, Quattro. 
you're all set. Boom. Get some buses on that. Good old line. I need to... Oh, I need more money. Well, I just repaid that money. Good thing I did. Let's try borrowing money this time. There, one, two, three, four. And we're going to set line all, and it's going to be O P C L K. That one, great. Boom. Now I can repay that five hundred thousand again. It's good that it doesn't charge you a fee to take out a loan. A lot of games will do that to prevent you from doing just what I'm doing here. Um, and now let's get it on the highest speed so we can try to make some money. Let's uh, let's look at our production chains again. We should probably start throwing some uh, throwing some vehicles on. So let's do that by looking at the lines, and uh, we'll go to visible only. So how about this orange line here? It's at three. Let's buy a vehicle and throw one on. That's buy and set line O I R C L K. There we are. But you shouldn't have the intermediary in there anymore. You're just an O R line now. Great. And close all those windows. I'm going to bring you back up. Why not stay in the same spot that I had put you in before? And. Let's throw a truck onto that purple line there, which is going to be O-I-C-L-K, right there. Bye. Not enough money. Oh, boy. There we are. Bye. And you're going to go on O-I-C-L-K, the pastel one. And I'm going to put one on that light green OICLK. Is that the right one? Looks like it. And uh, we're going to put one on the light blue OIC. Or no, that's OFNRF, huh? Whoops, set line OFNRF. No, nope, we're done with this uh, with this building. So now we'll go. We'll put a couple on on these ones as well. Let's do two on this one, I think, because we've got a bunch of resources waiting here. There we are. Now, can I just drag those? Nope. That would have been too easy. So we want O R C L K. Great. And we're gonna close all those windows. And then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna throw one on the uh, O I C. Oh wait, I already did that one, didn't I, over at the other place? But you know what? Let's do another one. And then we're going to put a couple more onto the iron one up here because there's plenty of iron waiting. Set line. This should be a raw resource. There it is. I think that's all of them. Finished goods, I suppose. I don't really have any finished goods waiting around. So what I should do is just find places where there are fin where there are resources waiting and throw a couple of trucks on at those times. This is a raw resource. Must be that orange one. Great. And um, Plank seems to be doing all right. And this one, of course, still needs more. Throw a few more on there. Don't want to get too many, though, because the... Uh, Steel won't want to accept them all, but I could probably get at least 10 on here, if not more. They won't quite be spread out properly. Oh, good. New trains. Trolley car won't do me any good. Wow. All sorts of uh, ore up here. Try that again. There we go. You're all set.
How are we doing on money? Hmm. All right. Slowly, very slowly paying that debt off. How old are our trains? Let's uh, let's try that again. So some of these road vehicles are getting pretty old. I really need to go through and reassign those routes. How much? Uh, oh, good. I'm going to do that. So between episodes, uh, because uh, this episode is is about to have its break put in here. Uh, between episodes, I'm going to take this uh, this uh, red line. Oh boy, now that one is so. Uh, I really don't want to break that into. I was going to break it into two, like that. Seems like it's never going to make any money if I do that, though. But it, yeah, you know what? I'm still going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to break it into two lines, so you can look forward to that excitement uh, uh, being done when you're not watching. Um, uh, but what I will do is I will pause the game, so nothing should change between now and then. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why? I mean... I always have something funny to say at the end, at least, sort of, if you think my asking you to like and subscribe is funny, because it kind of is. Uh, so subscribe. Come on. Give me a break. What do you expect? And uh, leave some comments below. Then you can tell me what you expect. If you, don't, if you haven't subscribed, leave a comment to let me know why. Not that I'm really going to change anything, but at least I can feel bad for myself. If you don't want to subscribe, you probably want me to feel bad for myself. So there you go. Victory is yours. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.